So all the excitement has died down, pretty much full on all the in E3 info uh, that has been divulged. But I do have one more little thing, little post E3 thing. And by the way, I hope this is cool. This is uh, this is okay. Face cam thing. Give you guys something other than weird voice coming from nowhere. So I've been going around to various forums and whatnot, trying to find, you know, people's opinions on what they thought of Destiny. And what I've been finding is that people who have been praising the game tend to realize that the demo, demo, was just a demo. And the people who have been giving it maybe a little more negative review think that that's the entire game. For example, one person on a forum says, Hollow level design, wide corridors, nothing really to interact with. Many boss fights aren't any more engaging than shoot it a lot. Well, he's right for what we saw in the demo. I'm not going to argue with that. That's Those were things. But this person, I believe, was thinking or implying that that was the entire game. And that's not fair. But how is that fair? You can't make any absolutes like this person did. Because all we saw was 10 minutes of a starter zone. A starter zone where things are supposed to be easy. Please don't think that what you saw for the gameplay reveal is the game and in its entirety, because it's not. At least I hope it won't be, because Bungie is way smarter than that. They are not going to make the entire game like that, because that is just wrong, and I, they know that. You know, I hope we get to see those MMO-like raiding elements, you know, all that gameplay. I love MMOs. I played WoW for... <sighs> uh six years and i've played a bunch of other mmos in between so you know i hope we see that kind of crazy stuff but if you expected it to be at e3 you're out of your mind if you thought they were going to show anything more than what we saw i think you're crazy they were not going to show top tier rating or pvp or guns or anything like that just they just wanted to give us a little taste because they want to create hype. That's how a business works in video games. You create hype. You don't just give it, you know, give everything on the first date. But stay up. So stay optimistic, you know, stay very optimistic, stay hyped, but stay realistic as well. Because, you know, it's fine to have opinions of what we've seen. That's fine. I didn't, I did not overhype myself. And I hope you didn't either. I hope you didn't. Expect to see things that you didn't. But you should remain reasonable with what you are going to see in going into the future. Because remember, game's still in pre-alpha. I mean, it's, it's not even really done yet, you know? It's not even done. We're not even, they're not even in their own alpha. They're pre-alpha. And then we have beta to do. So, you know, to judge it off of that, to judge the entire game, off of that one little demo is not fair. But hey, you know what? Maybe the game does end up being a little lackluster in areas, or maybe it does get a little bit boring. I'll call them out on it. I don't care. I'll be the first to say, this part sucked. This part was stupid. Why did you do this? This game's not free from criticism. I'm not saying it's free from criticism. But I don't think it's fair to criticize an entire game an entire project like this based on a starter zone demo that took 10 minutes to do. It's not fair. It's only going to get better with time. Okay. It's only going to get better. I, I'm talking about a game that's not even going to be out for at least a year. I'm already, I'm already talking about this. I feel like a crazy person having to explain this, but it's only going to get better with time. It's only going to get better. Stories only get better. Gameplay is only going to get better. So don't worry. The game's not going to be like that. They're too smart to make the entire game like that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say on Destiny post E3. Uh, let's talk real quick on PS4 versus Xbox One. I'll say right now, I'm getting a PS4. 
that's not fanboy or not f- fanboy, but that's not, you know, like F Xbox uh, bandwagon switcher thing. I've been PlayStation guy for. Oh, boy. Today's Monday, so that's 12 years. Uh, I've never owned an Xbox or an Xbox 360. And Destiny is also having exclusive content on PS4. And I want that. I want to show you guys that good stuff. I'm not here to rant and rave about the Xbox One either. Especially because not a huge amount of the issues affect me. Um, I usually buy new. I like football. Uh, I'm pretty much always connected. I've never not connected. I have a stable internet connection. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's stable and it's good. So, you know, those were like the main gripes like, oh, things are not good outside the U.S. I'm in the U.S. So, I mean, but I also understand that just because something doesn't really affect me doesn't mean it's right to do. And I can easily understand why everyone is upset. Easily can understand that. So what are you getting? Are you getting the PS4? Are you getting the Xbox One? Are you going to build a computer? I got a computer. I built my own computer last year. It's great. You don't have to be just console or just PC. I am PC master race and console race. I am both. Hair in my face. Get out of my face. So PS4, Xbox One, or are you just getting rid of both? Are you going PC gaming? Uh... Who's a switcher? Are you going to Xbox from Xbox to PlayStation? Is anyone a PlayStation to Xbox switcher? That I want to hear about. Are you one of those? Because I haven't heard many of those. Not too many of those PlayStation to Xbox switchers. Um, and why are you buying the console you're getting? Is it just because of brand loyalty? You got friends playing on there? You like the exclusives? What? You like football? You want to get Xbox One? I don't blame you. I like football. A lot of people like football. I'm one of those weird nerds that likes sports and video games. And I look like a nerd. I'm not like a jock person. Like Madden and stuff. It's weird. I can speak both languages. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm done. I'm going to shut up. Sick of my voice. Thanks for watching. (laughs) And uh, well, hopefully the, the news... The mail sack will be good this week. I'll bring you uh, bring you all that sweet, concise info on Destiny on the mail sack this week. Find me on the Twitters, at Dado's Destiny, if you use the Twitters. And uh, I like to use my hands a lot. Can't put them on my lap. If you notice that, just can't put them on my lap. Can't do it. Feels weird. I have to have move. And remember, it's pre-alpha. Pre-alpha. I'm done. I'm going to shut up. As soon as I click this off. Which is right now. I lied.